spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport. The thrill of victory. <laughs> and the agony of defeat. Oh my gosh. Jeez, oh Pete. What have I done? Hello Silver fans, this is T and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition and Entertainment. Hey, today I'll be turning some rounds like these, some boring old buffalo rounds into something far more interesting and some would even say more beautiful. Hey, I am new to silver pouring, but if you want to stick with me on this journey, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like what you see today, be sure to hit the like button. All right, guys, this one's going to be fun. Enjoy. Tea. Okay, guys, here at the uh, work area, I just wanted to show you a couple of things. Uh, regarding the two auto uh, furnace, it comes with uh, two crucibles. And so this one is the one I've used. Uh, I've only done one pour so far. This is uh, the other one. And as you can see, uh, the size difference is considerable. And uh, the other thing that I thought was pretty interesting is that uh, just after one use, <laughs> this crucible on my left uh, went from beautiful and shiny, like the one on the, my right here, uh, to uh, it just kind of charred up. So uh, those of you who are experienced silver pourers, uh, please let me know in the comments, like how many uh, uses should I expect out of a, a crucible? So um, the reason I'm showing you these two is because I've got a little bit of a dilemma. I'm debating on which one to actually use today. Uh, most of my silver that I have here is uh, in the form of rounds. And so let me show you, it doesn't fit in the little one, but I really kind of wanted to use uh, the little one as opposed to the big one, uh, just uh, for better control. So what did I do? Uh, I started folding these up, as you can see here, uh, these uh, buffalo rounds, and uh, they're gonna go in there uh, as is uh, some uh, silver shot. And this was uh, a leftover from my previous pour, so that'll go in there. Uh, the silver shot will go in there. But I was thinking about doing about six ounces or so. And so what I just poured in there between the leftover and that shot was uh, two plus, uh, let's see, two others. That are, So that's about four. So I need a, about a couple more of these guys right here. So uh, here's my solution right here. Uh, you know, and I never did this before. I never had the need to bend a uh, round or a coin before, but it was uh, surprisingly easy, well, as I say, uh, to uh, bend that up and pop it right in there. So uh, these rounds, hey, uh, you know what? They're, they are what they are. They're generic silver. Some of you are going to, like, freak out about uh, bending up and melting uh, a shiny round, but... Who cares? It's just generic silver, and uh, it's going to be tossed. Whoop. There we go, right in there. All right, there's my six ounces or so. One, two, three, four, five. I've got five left over for future melts, and uh, we'll see what I can do with these six ounces. I'm showing you this uh, step by step throughout the process. Uh, I hope you enjoy, as uh, you know, especially you new. Uh, folks out there who are into silver pouring for the first time, uh, like myself, I'll show you what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, and uh, by all means, anybody out there who has more experience, uh, please uh, let me know in the comments, uh, because I want to get better. That's the whole goal, and I'm not going to get better unless uh, you guys help me out. So, hey, thanks, guys. On to the next step. Okay, guys, hey, next step is to fire this baby up, and if I remember correctly... I need to set it to 1090. Oh, it's already there. 1095 Celsius. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, keep checking on it. And before I go any further, uh, let me go ahead and put this crucible with this metal 
in it right now and put this on the top and be good to go. But I'll be checking on it periodically and keeping a close eye on it. All right, guys, until the next step. Okay, let's see what we got here. 978. And let's see what she looks like inside there. Oh, baby. Look at that. Silver melts at 961 Celsius. So, hey, it's uh, starting to melt there. Okay, here is the first mold that I'm going to use. And in all honesty, I really don't know how many ounces of silver this mold is going to take. I just get, by looking at it, kind of guessing, I would think maybe about three. But either way, I know I do need to uh, warm up this mold because it's probably about 37, 38 degrees. I'm sitting here in my garage pouring silver that is uh, uh, about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit straight into this cold mold. Uh, I don't think the outcome would be good. I don't think the result would be good. And everything that I see on uh, the other pourers online on um, YouTube say that you should warm that up. Now, I'm using what I had laying around in the garage. And gosh, I don't even remember the last time I soldered anything. But either way, I will uh, most likely upgrade to a uh, map gas sometime in the near future. There we go. Let me get that position here. To warm up and we'll get all the moisture out of that mold right there. Yeah, wow. There's, uh, it's amazing how much uh, it looks like it's just sweating. It's, uh, there's liquid coming off of it because of uh, the moisture in that mold to begin with. <laughs> this is the part where I do my best to uh, imitate one of my heroes on YouTube. His name is Backyard Bullion. And what he does is he keeps a flame on his mold. And uh, once he pours it, uh, he gives it a little tap, tap, tap to try to create those uh, beautiful pour lines. So, whoa, look at that. That is exactly what I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, whether I'm successful or not uh, is, will be determined in just a matter of seconds here. Uh, and here we go. Whoa. You can feel the heat from here. Yeah. First time you're using a mold. Let's see. Wow. Be careful with that. All right. Let me put it back. And boy, did I have some oversplash there, that's for sure. I, honestly, I think this one's gonna be uh, a success and a failure all in one, because uh, as you can see there, I've got some beautiful pour lines, you should put that but I out. didn't hit the whole mold. The flame on so, the board. Excuse me? The flame on the board. On the board. On the thing, it's gonna be okay? Yeah, honey, it's okay. cement. It's not gonna hurt anything. So, here we go. Um, came out really nice, uh, except for un an under pour. Let me try to pick it up. Woo All right, I don't know how that's gonna come out. Uh, I was very pleased with the pour lines, uh, but I'm not so pleased with the fact that I, I under poured it. So I'm gonna give it another shot with this same mold. Here we go. And the little tappy tap works. Here we go. See what I got here. I'm just eyeballing it. It kind of looks like maybe two and a half uh, ounces or so. So I should have enough for another decent pour. Right in the middle. Here we go. Oh no, that was pitiful. All right. That was absolutely pitiful, but I've got a remedy. We are going to take that out. Yeah, so this took up way more than uh, three ounces, that's for sure. I'm gonna take this, punch it, and then put it back in there and try to make something else 
It should be cool by now. No. Yeah, it's cool. My goodness. Is it going to fit in no, there? No, don't put it in without the thing. Put your gloves some. back on. Let me try something. Oh my goodness. Don't put it in like that. No, it's too hard. No, I don't think Darn. so. Darn. It's not going to go in. You have to crack it. Yeah. Because that won't fit in there. No, no. There's no way. Mm -mm. Okay, I just tossed a couple of silver rounds. This is the piece that was the uh, the uh, misfire here. It didn't work. And let's toss that back in the old oven, in the old furnace. And we'll give it a little bit of time. Okay, guys. Here we go. Uh, attempt number two. And I'm, this will be an attempt at my very first ever silver bar so that's been in there for a while hopefully let me take a quick little peek oh yeah got that scrap silver got a couple more rounds this particular well i'll tell you in a minute here let me just try to pour this here we go There we go. I think she came out pretty good. That's the last one I'm gonna do today. So I'll turn that off. And let me turn off my propane here. Did its job. Let's see what we got. I can't wait to show you. Just looking from here, it looks great. Pour that out. It does look nice too. And thanks. Appreciate you helping me out here. Oh yeah, this is fascinating. Oh, there's that sound that everybody loves. Wow. It should be about three ounces plus. I, I bought this mold because it said five ounces, but I, what I didn't realize is when it, you read the fine print, it was five ounces gold. That's less troy ounces than silver. So I'm really curious as to what this actually weighs and oh yeah she's cooled down let me show you these little pour lines tell me what you think that i'm no backyard really boy in but cool. i am uh, super i'm cool trying tea. super cool can't wait to go clean her up and uh, see what i can do with it the back looks pretty good too look at that wow i still that? have a little bit of heat coming from it <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go clean her up and see what else we can do. Nice job, T. Thanks, honey. Okay, now for the less glamorous part of the job. Uh, let me take a look here and uh, show you what I got. Uh, as you can see, it's the bee in the honeycomb. A little overpour there, a little overpour there. Uh, the good news is it's kind of thin. Look, so I guess my question is, should I try to clip that off? with these new little clippers that I bought and then file it all the way down or hacksaw it or what? Um, I don't know, Let me. I'll think about that, but I wanna show you the backside. Hey, take a look at these pour lines. I was uh, pretty impressed uh, that they uh, came out the way they did and just with a little tap of the crucible on the mold as I was uh, pouring, I think that propane had uh, made a big difference. And uh, anyway, I'm going to clean this off and uh, then uh, weigh it. And then there's one more step after that. It really is amazing how many little tools and gadgets and things you can actually purchase uh, as you're getting into a new hobby like this. So let's see. Will that do it? Whoa. They work pretty well. Going to definitely have some sharp edges there. And, but I've got an idea for that too. Every one of these little pieces of silver, see that? Uh, let's put that in this little jar and those will go in the furnace next time. So let me get this. I definitely need a vise. Might have 
should have about 12 cents worth of silver dust here. Maybe a little bit less than that. All right. Here's just a little bit of work to it. Uh, the next phase after this will be to throw it in that tumbler there and take off any little uh, edges. But as I'm feeling this, it feels pretty good all the way around. The pour lines look just amazing. And there we go. Okay, I think I'm going to throw this in the old rack tumbler. I've got my media here, as you could see. Uh, and by the way, this is an Amazon purchase, and a lot of these purchases are down in my video description if you want to get this media. It has like four different shapes to it. And we'll put a, I put a little bit of down in there, and that should be enough. And let's see, yeah, this is about 250, not even, just... Uh, and then this guy right here, just to clean it up for good measure. Okay, got her in there. Put this there. And turn around. And I'm thinking about a half hour or so, maybe a minute or two longer than that. We'll see. Okay, it's been just about a half hour or so, and before I turn that off and throw this one in here, this is that silver bar I poured. Take a look at those pour lines. I cannot tell you how pleased I am about them. Uh, the sides look solid, and just everything's formed right. Almost like a, a mirror image of the state of Indiana on the back there. And uh, as I was watching uh, one of the numerous backyard bullion videos that I watched, uh, you see this little discolored area here. He said, uh, hey, don't worry about that. Uh, that will go away uh, in the tumbler. So I keep referencing Backyard Bullion. He's one of my heroes when it comes to silver pours. If by some weird chance that you're not familiar with him, uh, be sure to go down in my uh, description below and check out uh, his link where you can go check out his channel if you're into silver pouring. He's got to be at the top of your list. Uh, the dude is really, really good. And uh, quite entertaining and down to earth as well. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to stop that. I'm going to put this in there. And uh, you guys tell me, should I have put them in there together at the same time? Uh, I was a little nervous about that. Again, I'm new to silver pouring. Um, I didn't, obviously, but you tell me what I should do next time. All right, here we go. Let me turn that off. Here's my B. Toss this guy in there. And we'll keep this show a rolling. Let's see what we got here, guys. There she is. Looking nice and shiny. And so I am very curious as to what this little B weighs. So let's go check it out. Uh, I didn't have to borrow my neighbor's food scale you know all this stuff is from amazon basically everything you see here including these little clippers again links are down below i have a little affiliate code you don't pay a penny more and i get i don't know two cents if you buy something on there i, I so far no one's used it so i really don't know how much you get all right uh it's on ozt ounces troy uh, here we go 3.66 so I am going to not round up. I'm going to call that uh, 3.6 ounces Troy. And that was a little bit more than I was expecting uh, when I poured. I thought it might be about a two uh, and a half or a three. And, but anyway, learning experience. Here we go. Now comes the fun part of stamping. <laughs> I bought a stamp. It's a little B stamp. If you can see that. There it is. Last time someone asked if I was using my wife's hammer, so I'm going to use a hammer that's a little heavier <laughs> and try to get it in one nice uh, strike. I 
show you what I did. A little B there. T, it'll have to do until I get my own stamp, is 3.6 ounces Troy, and it's .999 fine silver. Uh, hey, I'll take any suggestions regarding uh, edits there or uh, recommendations. Uh, there we go. We're not done yet. Now, here's the big thing. Last time I uh, attempted to use the antique finish and it didn't come out so good. It basically made the object look uh, gold and someone in the comments said I, I wasn't patient enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up some water nice and warm. Try that liver of sulfur stuff again and uh, see if I can't antique this a little bit uh, to make things pop. I, I hate to mess it up though. It looks so cool the way it is. Um, I don't know, it might be making a big mistake here, but I wanna give it another shot and see if I can get these letters to pop and some of these details. So what the heck, uh, again, first pours, this is all a big learning experience. Okay, per the instructions, I got this water heated up to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, that's this is what I'm using liver of sulfur uh, they say a little dab will do ya so I'll add oops, I'm gonna shake it up a little bit first I don't think I remember to shake it up last time all right here we go add a little in there see how this goes mix it up with my custom uh, mixing uh, stirring rod here there we go Stir it on up. Let's see if this thing changes color, unlike the previous one. There we go. Okay, that wasn't much time at all, and I could already tell this thing has really changed colors. So let me get it out of there, and let's see what we got here. That? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Jeez, oh Pete. What have I done? Yikes. Dang, I made it black. Good Lord. Look at that. What am I gonna do now? Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Here, the learning continues. Second, I wanna see what I can do to fix this because that looks hideous like that. Try some of the silver cream. Let's see if we can't polish that up a little bit. My goodness gracious. Oh, wait a minute. I'm starting to see a little bit of silver poke through. It's gonna take a lot of elbow grease. What do you think about this? Hey, look at that blemish came off. After about a half hour in there, this stuff works well. And all I have to do now is weigh it up and stamp my very first silver bar. So let me do that. 3.64. Okay, I did contemplate the idea of putting a T in the middle there, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that. I really do wanna get my own stamp. Here it is, T, 3.6, ounces Troy, 0.999, fine silver. Now, I think I'm done with this, and this one's done. My very first bar, completely done, and what I need to do now 
is uh, figure out what to do with that other, that Bumblebee piece. And uh, I, I tell you what, I'm pretty pleased with this one. Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the liver of sulfur with this one. Maybe on the next bar, but for this, for now, this one looks pretty good to me. Let me figure out what I can do with that thing. Whew, that was a lot of hard work. Let me show you what I came up with. You know, I kind of felt like I was uh, washing and waxing my Uncle John's Cadillac back in the day when I was a teenager, just so I could have the privilege of borrowing it uh, to take my girlfriend out on a date. But after a lot of uh, buffing, <laughs> this is what came of it. It's the uh, antiqued look, uh, first attempt from me. And you know what? There it is. 3.6 ounces of interesting looking silver. I took some uh, old buffalo rounds and made them into something uh, far more uh, beautiful, in my humble opinion. Uh, but what's your opinion? Let me know how you think I did. And it was a pleasure, uh, especially having Mrs. T help me with the pour. And, uh, you know, nice way to spend a Sunday afternoon. And I would be uh, remiss if I didn't show you that bar. Uh, what a weird uh, coincidence that they both turned out to be 3.6 ounces of silver. So on the left, you've got the antique look. On the right, you've got the shiny look that I think I'm just going to keep that shiny look the way it is. Uh, maybe I'll experiment with uh, other bars uh, in the future. Uh, but tell me what you think, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't seen my very first pour video, I'll put it on the screen right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.